Hey guys, my name is Dana I'm a veterinarian and welcome to the channel. Can you get roundworms or GI parasites from your doggy? You definitely can. This is something that I get asked on a pretty regular basis. I have three things that I encourage people to consider when trying to prevent roundworms from spreading to the dog to human. Just make sh keep your pet on parasite prevention all year mm -hmm. long because it yeah. originally comes from the Pet's poop. Number one would be doing some kind of dewormer. You can deworm on a yearly basis or a more frequent basis if needed. A lot of people, which I love this, do a heartworm preventative. Heartworm preventatives are great. They prevent against heartworm disease, but just as important, they also prevent against GI parasites, in particular, roundworms. Now, all your, your heart guard, your sympericas, your next guard pluses, all those fancy medicines, these medicines can significantly reduce roundworms in the dog and in some cases completely resolve them if the burden isn't too heavy. Number two, making sure the veterinarian does fecal exams on a regular basis, at least yearly, guys, at least yearly. And this is something that I really try to encourage people to think about and help prevent them or their kids getting roundworms or visceral larvae migraines from their dog. The way this happens usually is from fecal oral, your doggy poops or has poop on them and then you touch it or you clean it up and you don't wash your hands before you eat or your kids don't wash their hands before they eat and that's how you get GI or roundworm parasites in your body. And they can definitely migrate from the intestinal tract to other parts of the body. You can hear horror stories of them migrating to like an eyeball and causing blindness in an eye. If your dog is prone to getting into things every three to six months is also a good idea. But doing regular fecal exams can help you understand if your doggy is prone to carrying roundworms or other GI parasites. Number three is routine hand washing. Whenever you pet your dog or interact with them, you should be washing your hands afterwards. Now, of course, washing your hands before you eat is paramount, but being very aware that your doggy is exploring their world, they're dirty uh, from being outside. This diagram here shows how people can pick up roundworms by eating bad food. Also guys, you can pick up roundworms that I mentioned earlier, fecal oral, just contamination on the dog or the environment and then eating something that has uh, fecal material on them, uh, basically the eggs being ingested. And all this can be prevented by just really, really good hygiene